Hi guys, it's Belle here and I'm coming on with another thrifted haul. Um, I recently went to this massive antique centre, um, which, oh my gosh, I don't even think I saw everything. I was there for hours and hours. Um, I saw plenty of stuff I would have loved, but um, it is an antique centre. But the first thing I want to show you is I also picked these up. There was like a little craft. There was quite a few little craft shops there, actually. Um, I didn't really need anything, but I picked these up. These are obviously not... Um, thrifted or vintage or anything like that but I wanted to share them with you so I got some little wooden butterflies because I've been using these a lot in ephemera pieces and I've run out I also got this little um, island one because I do have a Celtic journal that I want to do soon and I also picked this up a 20 centimeter gold ribbon it is beautiful I mean I'll use the safety pin as well but this will probably also be going into my Celtic journal. They had so many scrap fabrics and things that, oh my goodness, guys, I just fell in love with. Um, I don't know where they're from. Oh, okay, right. Well, anyway, let's have a look at these. So the first thing I want to share with you is I want to share these sets of postcards. Now, these postcards um, are in their complete set and they are based on stamps. Um, British stamps um, and I don't know if the postcards are from the dates like there's 1980 and 1981 1979 I don't know if the postcards are from then or if they're a more modern take from the stamps from that era so the first one we have is this set of five Christmas stamps oh god uh, postcards guys these are so pretty you can see they're black. They tell you all about it. They tell you the price that the stamp was to begin with. This is 19th of November, 1980. I love these. These will be going in some either Christmas kits that I put together this year or Christmas journals. I mean, I love it. Just look at the apples. What's that one called? Oh, this mistletoe. It's got apples on it as well, obviously. And these are designed by Jeffrey Matthews, the stamps were. I mean, look, <gasps> a holly wreath, paper decoration. This, uh, these are so beautiful. So these are stamps from the 1980s, originally turned into postcards. I then brought a second Christmas kit that was based on stamps from 1979. I'm not too sure, sure about these. I saw the first image and I thought, that's really cute, but I couldn't see the others because they were all wrapped. They are very religious, these ones. Um, so I don't know what I will do with these. I mean, that's cute. I can use that in something. You can see that they each progressively got, they were for more expensive stamps. I mean, 15p, honestly. Nowadays, I think a first class stamp is something like 80p or more. So mm. uh, then I had to get these. These are national uh, trust ones if you don't know here in the UK the National Trust is um, like a, a a society a group um, a company that owns lots of our national houses landmarks it takes care of them um, the money you go and pay either through membership or for visiting these places goes back into the upkeep and I had to get these so here is the Giants Causeway in Northern Ireland which is so fun to see something from Northern Ireland in there um, and these were designed by Michael Fairclough in 1981 and that will probably be going in my Celtic journal. Then we have Derwent Water, England. So pretty. I just love them because they look almost like um, watercolour paintings. Um, yes, yeah, so pretty. We have Stackpole Head in Wales. So we've got one from Wales, one from Northern Ireland, one from England, and actually two from Scotland. We've got Glenfinnan in Scotland. This was the first one that I saw in the pack. I just love the artwork. It gives me 1920s vibes, guys. I mean, look. It gives me 1920s vibes. And then St Kilda in Scotland too, which is just stunning. Um, you know, do a lot of nature journals and things. And then I picked these up because these are famous authoresses. Um, it's a set of four and it's from 1980. So, yeah. And I'm hoping to do a journal. 
that these could go in. So we got Mrs. Gaskell from North and South. These were designed by Barbara Brown in 1980. So we got Mrs. Gaskell, Charlotte Bronte from Jane Eyre, George Eliot from Mill on the Floss. I've read all of these books. And Emily Bronte from Wuthering Heights. And again, I just love the style of those. Um, I particularly love uh, both the Charlotte Bronte one and the Mrs. Gaskell one. So I got those. Um, also, alongside those were these two. Again, I don't know how vintage they are, but I picked them up anyway. Well, this is uh, 1996, I think. I'm not sure, 1999. Uh, so this one is The Curse of Frankenstein. That's supposed to be four. I love Frankenstein. You will know that if you've been here for any length. I would have loved one with Frankenstein on it. They're really hard to find. Um, so I had to obviously pick this amazing one up. And then Dracula, Prince of Darkness, with the beautiful, or wonderful rather, Christopher Lee on there. Um, yeah. So... I'll obviously use those in journals. Um, and then I also saw these. So this is a complete set of costume. I'm wondering because I just saw some random ones. Oh, no. Oh, I'll have a look at those. Uh, costume. Set of costume ones. Set of 50. They're British costume Brooke Bond tea cards. Now, I don't tend to work in fashion journals or anything like this. But guys, I couldn't not get these. Look at these 1920s type ones. I mean, seriously, I need to do a 20s journal. <laughs> Look at the hairdress. But um, she's like, yes, I look very fancy. And she's like, no, I look fancier. And she's like, really? Have you seen my dress? And then she's like, let me show you the back of mine. And he's like, whoa, let me be in front. Look at my cute suit. And she's like, I'm a bit more restrained, but isn't this colour beautiful? And he's given her a gift of some sort, obviously. He's like, do you like it? And they're just going for a walk. I mean, honestly, guys, these are just so wonderful. And she's like, you lot in your fancy dresses now, look at me. Oh my gosh, honestly, guys, they are such fun. I'm trying to work out if it tells you country clothes from around 1780. So, yeah, it tells you about them on the back. Man's day clothing around 1770. She's like, yes, as fancy. And she's like, no, as fancy. And she's 1760. Apparently a day dress. Really? Oh, my gosh. And she's 1750. Oh, look at that one. Beautiful. About 1690, a formal dress, I'd say. Look at him with his hair. It's like, yeah, I got all the hair. That's from 1674. And she's like, no, look at my hair. Yeah, she's 1674 too. And these guys, they're just like, mm, look at my legs. My legs are so good. Look at my legs in these shoes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, can you even move in that? 1637, a ladies' day dress. Really? That looks like Queen Elizabeth time. Ladies' formal dress, about 1610. Yeah, look. So, yeah, I just couldn't resist these. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to use them in. They might even get used in some Marguerite Miller. Um... She looks like a bit 1500 or something. Yeah, 1490. Yeah, that's medieval too. 1480. It's just so much fun. I just, I don't, I mean, what is this? What is he wearing? That is not, what is it? Oh my goodness. Day clothes around 1350. I mean, her dress, not too bad giving me almost like modern Corella de Ville vibes but here's what is that and can you even tell the difference between these two day clothes about 1250 I mean really and these ones 
day and traveling clothes around 11.50 i don't know why she's green but she is so yeah a set of 50 of those guys i couldn't say no they were a very good price so i don't know why i'll use them in i almost feel bad if i even thought about splitting them up but there's some i definitely will not use in there so yeah and then i got the incredible creatures tea cards and apparently there's 40 in here i haven't even looked all the way through these guys I just saw this one on front. It said creatures. And I thought, okay, cool. Um, oh, we got lots of birds in here. Huh, I just used that one in a journal. So now I have another one. There's a cute little bat. Oh my gosh, they've got bugs like this. Bat's got a frog in its mouth, but how adorable. Oh, some flutterbys. Um, secretary bird in the air. Set of, series of 40. Butterflies, Atlas Moth, and this is Paradise Tree Snake Spider. Sorry, I'll go past that quick because not everyone likes them. So there's lots that I would use. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is it a frog or a toad? Let's have a look on the back. Spadefoot Toad. Look at that chap. Oh. Those are those monkeys that live, um, yeah, the Japanese macaques, and they go into the hot pools. Got little bees there. Oh, cute elephant. Another cute frog. No idea what that is. Let's find out. A robber crab. Ooh. Um, fish. Is that a cuttlefish? Squid. Cool. So, yeah, there's all sorts of fun things. There's sea ones. There's... <laughs> That's one of those angler fish. One of the ugliest things ever, oh, but fascinating. Uh, yeah, the sea ones. And there's, oh gosh, look at that. Texas blind salamander. That would go good in a gothic journal. There's snakes and insects. Oh, is that one of those mole rats? Those blind mole rats. Yeah, naked mole rats. Ugh, they're horrible too. Spider, I'll go quickly. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I don't know what that, bug, uh, that thing is. Etrusian shrew. Is it going to eat the snail? I'm hoping not. But yeah, so we've got all those. So I had to pick those up because, you know, I've got all sorts of animals in there. Uh, and then I was super lucky um, to also find this collection. So it's the 1939 Gallagher Wildflowers complete set of 48. Now, the reason I picked this up is normally when you see tea cards, let's see if I can find one you will get like the basic image similar to what i just showed you like this you'll get the flower on it but guys do you see in these ones these are like images they're panoramas you've got things in the background look that's got a house in it guys i love the border around it as well it's so different that one's got a house in it they are they were in here i haven't even opened this it's just got shaken as i've been moving it around love the poppy one Oh, these are beautiful. There's another one with a house in it. We've got a lake. More lake. I lo I haven't seen ones like this. And I just love them. They're like little windows into a piece of art or something. Not just the flower. Um, yeah, so these are the, like I said, Gallagher. What you can see, I haven't even opened it yet, guys. I don't know. Sorry. I don't know if it's Brooke Bond one. Let's get this beautiful cornflower one out and have a look. Wildflower Series 48 by Gallagher Limited. Um, yeah, and they're a slightly, are they a slightly different size? They are a slightly different size to the Brook Bond ones. They're smaller, they're the same width, but they're slightly smaller. Oh, I just, these were beautiful guys. I had to pick these up. I haven't seen something like this before. They had other beautiful sets as well. Not quite like this, but other ones, but they were a bit more expensive and they're a bit more unusual. So I wanted those. I actually found the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady, um, an Edith Holden book. I have several copies of this that I have been working through for a few years and, you know, neither copy is completely intact. Most copy has only got about this much left in it. And if you try and buy these online, they are... 
ridiculously expensive this is from 1977 this one it's ridiculously expensive now because i think they've caught on that people crafters love this um and i got this for about a quarter of the price that i would get it online so i had to pick that up um and then i went into a, well <laughs> i was just everywhere I went to a place and they had all these boxes for the Bose cards and I just had to pick a few bits up. We've got, look, Alice and Jack from, I think that's Pat and Tom. Look, it's a little Christmas one. There's some gilding on there. Isn't that adorable? It's not written on on the back. Uh, it says made, uh, it made in Germany. How cute is that? Then we have this bridge one. We I don't even know what that says. Hold on, guys. I think it's German or French again. Valentine's series. I don't know. But we've got the bridge, a bit of writing, and this beautiful waterfall, nature journal. We also have this. Now, this is quite hard to see, but I love it. See, we've got another waterfall here. Um, Dripping Well Fairlight, Glen Hastings. Uh, it's got a little name down there. We've got all the woodland um again it doesn't say anything on the back i like them when they've been written on but yeah that's really vintage then there was this little photograph so we've got this lovely lady doesn't she look rather like gothic yeah i liked that i love the back of it as well look at that head studios regent street it's a bit torn at the edges but love that i don't know if you're going to be able to see this guys i'm trying to see if i can get that um, I don't know if you can see it. There's actually a photo on here. Um, it's of a soldier and his girlfriend, wife. I just don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But yeah, there's a soldier and wife on here. Um, look, it's from July 1945. I don't want to take this off. You would probably see it better if I did because it's more like a negative. So I promise you, this is not just blank. This has like... Um, a picture in it i don't know if you can see it and then 12 shot um, snapshots of canterbury cathedral so it's in this little packet which i love anyway and yeah these are of canterbury cathedral and look it tells you what's on the back the crypt looking east oh look at the cathedral there um floodlit august i don't know if this is handwritten on here this might actually be handwritten uh, floodlit August 15th 1945 honestly guys um, screen between the nave and the choir I have been in Canterbury Cathedral many times Canterbury Cathedral arms of the black prince in coloured enamels on his tomb the nave looking east so we've got the two different naves I think the nave and choir and the nave looking east. They're just, oh, yes. What does this one say? The Agnes Day, um, based on the vaulting of the choir. Look at that. Effigies of King Henry the Fourth and his queen. They're actually lying that way because they're on the tomb one uh, tomb of edward the black prince got this beautiful one the choir looking east i mean ugh, this was such a find tomb of henry the um fourth and joan of navarre which is so this is the up close of this bit here Um, effigy of the black prince in bronze and gold so was that the black prince yeah it was so again this is a close-up of this bit and then there is the side of canterbury cathedral from the southwest oh such a find guys honestly i love it and then as i was going to pay for quite a few of these bits there was this pile just sitting there on the desk and I was like, oh, what's, what's, what's all that? And she went, oh, these have just come in. There are lots of stamps and that. And I said, oh, well, like, 
are you going to rip the stamps off? Like, what are you going to do? And she went, oh, it's just like this pile that's just come in. And she said, why, are you interested? And I said, yeah, it's like they're um, old envelopes. I can use envelopes. And so she, like, threw it in with the rest of the other stuff. So here we have um, 1977. We've got, oh, look at the young queen there. Jersey, seven piece. The silver jubilee look, guys, from 1952 to 1977. The stamp alone. And then when I got it back, I just saw the envelopes. I knew she'd said stamps, but I thought it meant stamps on the actual envelope. I didn't know. It meant that inside these envelopes, going to be careful not to rip that, on some of them, there was just all these stamps. I mean, I haven't even looked through them all because there's so many of them. I mean, these bird ones, I need to peel that off carefully. But the bird ones, like some of them are stuff. I've got these ones. I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're stamps or if some, it feels like um, the watercolours. I'm going to get that. Can you see that that's textured, guys? Almost like watercolours. I have no idea what they are, but they are cool. Got more bird ones. A lot of these ones are kind of stuck together. I'm going to look at that from one with the car. Um, I'm going to have to very carefully... Oh my gosh, this one's from Finland. Yeah, I have not been through these. I'm going to have to very carefully go through these. So yeah, I just wanted the envelopes. Um, and then I got home and realised there was all these um, great stamps inside. Yeah, I'm going to have to be so careful with some of these to get them off. Netherlands, there's another one. The bird ones seem to be stuck. Look at that fun souvenir from Melbourne. 1956, guys. Look at that. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm very lucky. She was like, yeah, I'll add this. Yeah, I need to go through some of these really carefully because they're kind of stuck together. And who knows what I might find. So, yeah, so that was all in that envelope, guys. Put that to one side from 1977, the Silver Jubilee. Then we have this fun envelope. I absolutely love how, like, this envelope looks. I love the fact it's blue. There's another one, those weird, like, watercolour. I don't know what they are. And this one, look, full address, speed delivery, speed delivery. And this one again, let me just get it up to myself so I can read it. 1972, this one, and it's Irish, look, guys. Um, yeah, 1972, I could have seen it easier there than there. So we have, oh, and there's another little stamp from Australia. We have two for this person. They're both sealed. They're actually sealed, so I don't really want to rip it. Oh, it's ripped there. Oh, look at that. Queen's Velvet. Oh, look at that inside, guys. Has this one done the same? No, this is sealed. Isle of Man, these stamps are from. And they're from 1976, guys. And this one's 1975. I mean, and then, yeah, there was just some stamps like this little Australian one. One from Jersey. Uh, this 78 that one is oh and this is such a fun one look it's from the ford motor company it's actually got a little car stamp on there and this is from 1971 Ugh, love it and then i've just realized these must have been cut off postcards because we've got these in the corner but we've got luxembourg and the tourism is there any way i can see a date on there hold on guys 1978 this one is i don't know about that one but 1978 and then so that was cool enough that she hadn't even gone through them all and she was like yeah i'll chuck that in and i think she she barely charged me anything for them and then these were with them and i don't know what she thought was in here so i got it back and firstly there's this large glassine bag we all know journalists can use glassine bags and then inside there was all these glassine bags as well so score on that guys you know that was tucked in and then there was i don't know what this is so if any of you know what this is this is i thought it was negatives i'm trying to see it is like a greeny blue translucent there's loads of pieces like you can see my fingers through it but it's like a green i'm wondering if i can get 
the colour come up because I can see it really well in real life but you guys are only seeing it as blue but it's more like it's more a pale it gives me sea vibes like green and I've got all these pieces I do not know what this is at all but and it's very dark so it would be hard to stick like stamp something on it but it would be great to use in backgrounds as just something you know so anyway that's everything I picked up guys like I'm so happy I'm particularly happy with the envelopes and the stamps because that was completely unexpected but I think one of my favorite finds other than the envelopes was this just because and the Canterbury cathedrals um because they're just something I haven't really seen before or this kind so anyway guys um, I hope you enjoyed this little one. I will have to be going back to this antiques place, like make another, um, you know, we did a day trip and I'll have to do another one in um, a few months. There was the most gorgeous, gorgeous vintage black typewriter, which I just wish I could have brought. I mean, I just sat there like doing this on it. I love the noise. It was little, it was black. It had red on it, which is all me um and yeah and they had these old uh, massive old documents that were waxed with the wax seal still on Matt, like we're talking humongous size um but they were so expensive just for one and to be honest there's no way i could cut that up and you wouldn't even be able to scan it properly because they were so so big um that you wouldn't be able to get the whole document on um a proper scan so yeah but anyway so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this um and i will be back again soon with another video thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like and subscribe and um wherever you are in the world i hope you're having lots and lots of crafty fun bye